Here we go again. My name is Jeffrey Davis. This is Radio Entrepreneurs, and we're always sharing the success of entrepreneurship. If you want to see any of our stories, try YouTube anytime you want. Try Radio Entrepreneurs at YouTube, and you'll see hundreds, if not thousands, of interviews. Thanks to Chris Gerald, our producer. He's always putting stuff up on the web, the World Wide Web. Thank you, Chris. Thumb in the air. Uh, my guest host, as you know, I've been saying, is the incomparable John Dustin from JED Insurance. Hi, John. Jeffrey, great to be here. I love the adjectives. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, for me, you are incomparable. We have developed a great mutually admiration. Mutual I thought you were going to say incorrigible, club. but I'll take incomparable. Uh, no, you're not, I'm incorrigible. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're incomparable. I already know where I stand in this world. Uh, our next guest, all smiles so far, is Dr. Beth Frades. Uh, from Wellness Synergy, and I'm really looking forward to talking to her. So, hi, Beth. Oh, hi. Thank you for having me. So, tell us about Wellness Synergy. Sure. So, Wellness Synergy is my private practice of health and wellness coaching with a focus on lifestyle medicine. I help people adopt healthy habits, such as exercising regularly, eating a healthy diet, stress management, getting a good night's sleep, having a positive mental attitude and a growth mindset that looks at mistakes and failures as opportunities to grow, and helping people to find purpose in their life as well as high quality connections. To really understand me and my path, which is non-traditional, you need to understand a particular patient who has had a lasting impression on me and still inspires me today. And I want to share with you, if it's all right, a little bit about that patient. He, of course, has given me full... Um, um, uh, Ability to talk. Exactly. Thank you. Right. Um, so I want to tell you about a gentleman who's 52, overweight, overworked, overstressed. Despite the fact that he was an athlete in high school, soccer, baseball, basketball, good athlete. At this time in his life, 52, the only thing he was doing was one activity. Chris, do you do sprints? No, I'm a tennis It's not Chris. Player. He's a big it's, tennis player. Okay, it's not Chris. Right. So this gentleman only did sprints. Occasional sprints. You mean short sprints? Uh, short sprints, well, the distance from... Like from the car to McDonald's, quick takeout. Cl close. To the like, refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Very close. Yeah. Like from Park Avenue his office, yeah. to Grand Central Station to catch the last train home. So these sprints occur. That's a heart attack if you're out of shape. At 11.07 p.m. 52 one, out of shape, you're asking to drop. One of these evenings, he sprinted, experienced a little Chest pain, pain. No pain, no gain, forged forward, went onto the train, took the train home by the end of the train ride. He felt it's a half hour ride back home. Right. He felt as if there were an elephant resting on his chest, numbness and tingling down the left arm, short of breath, all sweaty. His wife, a teacher, picks him up at the train station dutifully at 1136 as usual. Good woman. Exactly. Great woman. And took him to the local ER instead of home. Smart where, woman. Smart. Where he had a massive myocardial infarction, heart attack. <sighs> and stroke, leaving him paralyzed on the left side. Oh, oh no. So that is a story that is common. It's a nightmare, though. It's a nightmare, and it's the story of my father. And I was 18 when that happened. Mm. So that, I, that has informed my career. I was going to be an entrepreneur. I was going to take over my dad's uh, business and work in the family, financial advising, investing company. But at that point... I became fascinated with the brain, how it can recover, and also lifestyle. So my father did make a full recovery after a year. He had physical therapy, occupational therapy, and he also made a complete lifestyle change. He started eating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, some fish, no desserts, no uh, candy, chocolate cake. <laughs> His desserts were delicious, berries, fruits, wonderful desserts, and he also changed his work hours. He started exercising regularly. He started on an exercise bike, a stationary bike, which I still have. It lasted a long time. Uh, and it, uh, he was on that five days a week for one half hour religiously. 